then he... And then he what? For a moment, it looked like you were about to say something about the hood guy, and you reconsidered. Really? Part of what makes you so endearing is your utter lack of a poker face. Get ready for some new characters and new drama on Riverdale in Season 2. What's up, you lovely people? Lisa here, and I'm finally back from Comic-Con. I wanted to make this video while I was down there, but I just didn't have time because Comic-Con is crazy, so you're getting it now. Riverdale took over Ballroom 20 on Saturday, and lots of hints for the upcoming season were given. First, a few things we already know. The season's going to premiere on October 11th, 2017, on its new night, Wednesdays. This season will also consist of 22 episodes, so that's basically <laughs> twice as much Riverdale, which I don't think any of us are mad about. Now, with more episodes, it means there's a chance to develop more more characters, hence why characters like Casey Cotts, Kevin are series regulars now, and also introduce new characters, and I'm gonna get to those new characters in a second. First, before the cast took the stage, some great bloopers were shown from season one. Check out a few. Nailed it. <laughs> I love you. Will you give me that one more time? Mm. Let's try again. Hi, Poppy. You have some explaining to do? <laughs> I have Veronica here. She is no hobby. <laughs> <laughs> Disappointed. You can see all those bloopers down in the video in the link below. Now, following that, the first teaser was released for season two. The cast just finished filming, I believe, the third or fourth episode, but the trailer does show scenes from the first episode back where Fred is being rushed to the hospital and Cheryl's mom is uh, also there for some reason. People will look back at this as the exact moment that last bit of Riverdale's innocence finally died. Oh, please. Don't help me with that. People have grudges. People have enemies. I mean, think of where we live. Fathers are killing their sons. It's entirely conceivable this was a hit. This man, his goal was something else. Darker. It's like the angel of death had come to Riverdale. Things are going to be different now, Mommy. Better. You'll see. Now don't worry, we won't have to wait until mid-season or the end of the season to learn Fred's fate. In fact, the answer will be given by the end of season two, episode one. Now I still have my fingers crossed he's gonna pull through, but uh, I mean, the title of the episode is what, A Kiss Before Dying or something, so 50-50 shot maybe? Now let's move on to the new characters. Now the first one that was actually announced before Comic-Con is Penny Peabody, who will be played by Britt Morgan, who is best known for True Blood and more recently, Supergirl. Now Penny is a wily attorney the Southside Serpents keep on retainer in case they have any running in with the law. Now she prefers to be paid in favors, not cash, which is something that Jughead is going to learn when he asks her to help out with his father. Um, this seems like it might take Jughead down a dark path because what kind of favors could this shady lawyer want? The other new character that will be interacting a lot with Jughead is Tony Topaz. Now the character has officially been cast and it was announced during Comic-Con that she will be played by Vanessa Morgan, who you might know from My Babysitter's a Vampire, Finding Carter, and The Shannara Chronicles. Tony is often described in the comics as kind of a female version of Jughead who rocks pink hair and is also bisexual. Now executive producer Roberto Aguera Sacasa told Entertainment Tonight that Tony might be trouble for Betty and Jughead. She's a student at Southside High where Jughead now goes and she's a member of the Southside Serpents and she's going to be a friend and confidant to Jughead. I I think she's trouble getting Jughead into this gang. I think uh, uh, she might be trouble for Bughead. I don't know, I don't know. Roberto also said that Tony would be trouble for a lot of characters on the panel. And I don't think she will necessarily be a romantic interruption, so to say, when it comes to Jughead and Betty. I think the problem that she's going to have is that she is a serpent and she's gonna lead Jughead more down that path of you know, getting deeper into this gang and it's gonna definitely make some people butt heads. Now, how about the rest of Jughead's family, like his mom and his sister, Jellybean? We, we've talked about it. I, th I think it might be something that happens in the second half of the season, yeah. We just, we have to find the right casting for both of them. I mean, the casting's everything on this show, so. So now, as Sarah said, all they gotta do is get some great casting right, and the Jones family will be complete. So uh, who would you cast? I mean, wouldn't it be, kind of be fun to see Nev Campbell play like Jughead's mom just because of Skeet and Nev and me loving Scream? Now, Jughead is not the only one who will be interacting with some new faces. As you know, Hiram Lodge is now back in town, played by Mark Consuelos, who will be a series regular but someone else will be popping up to cause some trouble for Veronica. I've got an ex from New York coming. And he's a bad boy. 
and he brings he brings out Veronica's dark side, which I don't think we got to really oh, wow. see in season one. <laughs> Whoa! Dark Veronica is much darker than Dark Betty. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Whoa. Dark Veronica's darker than Dark Betty. Like I am all for seeing this play out on screen. Please sign me up. And I can't wait to see who plays this bad boy, Nick St. Clair. I know there's been rumors that uh, Tyler Blackburn might appear on Riverdale as a villain, and I think that this could be the character that he could be playing if that is actually true. Some people were like, oh, maybe Tyler's the secret brother because maybe FP had a child with Alice, but I'm kind of leaning more towards him fitting into this Nick Sinclair role. It was also hinted at the panel that Kevin, Josie, and Cheryl will be getting some new love interests. Casey Cott joked that Joaquin got on a bus and is probably never coming back, so there's definitely going to be a new guy in his life. Josie will be batting some eyelashes with Reggie Mantle, played by Charles Melton, and Madeleine shared that Cheryl will be getting an unexpected new love interest. The other big reveal wasn't, I guess, really a reveal, but when asked, by a fan at the very end of the panel if there would be any more supernatural elements coming to the show, Roberto said, You know, I love horror stuff and I love, I, I love, uh, you know, dreams and jump scares and things like that. So we're always trying to figure out ways to put hints of that in Riverdale. We have been talking about one very uh, uh, prominent supernatural character that exists in the Archie universe. And, I'm gonna, I'm and, gonna cut you off right now. Just, and that, that's, that's all I can say. <laughs> Dang it, Sarah, why, why did you have to cut him off? Like, I think we just want a clear cut answer on this, but I feel like that pretty much confirms that Sabrina the Teenage Witch, who is part of the Archie Comics universe for all of you that are not familiar, will be popping up at some point, but there's still no word yet on who exactly will be playing her, and if that is actually going to happen, when will it happen? Some things the panel did not talk about were obviously the parent drama not related to Hiram Lodge, since none of the Riverdale parents were actually in attendance. There was also no talk about Betty's secret brother coming to town, but I have a feeling that will definitely happen, and when is the real question? Also, on my last Riverdale video about season two hints, so many people were commenting about how Ross Lynch should play Betty's brother. Now, I'm really not sure who started that rumor, but come on guys, if you watch the show, you know that this really isn't a logical casting. I like Ross, you know I like Ross. You watch my channel, I've interviewed him a lot. He's great, but the brother is supposed to be older than Betty and Polly, so yeah, do the math on that one. Ross looks way younger than the main characters on the show. There's no way he could be the older brother. I'm still pulling for someone along the lines of Drew Van Acker or Zach Rorig or maybe Chris Zilka for something like this. Now there's also those theories that the secret brother may be FP's kid, which would mean you would cast someone that looked a little bit more like FP and Jughead with dark hair. Not quite sure who I would cast for that though. Either way, I'm excited to see what the show does with this character and how they incorporate him. Alrighty, those were some of the biggest reveals to come out of Comic-Con for Season 2 of Riverdale. What are you most excited to see happen in Season 2? Let me know down in the comments below, as well as your dream casting for characters like Nick St. Clair, Jughead's mom and sister, and even Sabrina and the Secret Brother. Now don't forget to subscribe and check out even more of my videos, but for now I'm going to leave you with more of those Season 1 bloopers from Riverdale. <laughs> So we're thinking, have a baby shower. What are your thoughts? Yeah.